Well, hello, Journey family. Hello, how's everybody doing? Welcome to another daily fireside chat. My name is Ed Martin, and I'm the youth director here at Journey Christian Church. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, excuse me, I can't talk here. Hope you guys are staying safe at home. I hope you guys have been able to get outside, enjoying the beautiful weather. Yesterday was just gorgeous. It's a little cold today, I've got to be honest, but it's still like, I hope you've been able to get out and enjoy some of the scenery, enjoying God's creation, enjoying Jay Cook. I've had the privilege of the last couple of weeks to go up the North Shore, went over to Teta Gooch State Park for the first time. Oh my goodness, beautiful. So what are some activities that you guys have been doing to get outside? Maybe it's hiking, running, maybe it's weightlifting, maybe it's woodworking, maybe you guys are doing um, certain hobbies to get outside to stay, just because I know st staying inside for a long period of time makes people go stir crazy. Got to be honest, it's making me go crazy a little bit. <laughs> but I just thought I'd share something, a story with you that this happened this past week. Just thought, hope that encourages you. So on Sunday night, I just got off a Zoom call with my family and I was in my house, it's about around 7.30, and the sun is popping out, and I'm on, on my phone scrolling, and I'm like, I need to get outside. I need to just, I don't want to spend, spend the rest of my night in the house. <laughs> so I get up, and one of the things I've been doing lately, besides running, I've been disc golfing. I've been practicing throwing the frisbee, frisbee around. Now, I'm, I'm not a good disc golfer. Brent Porkanowski, he's one of my roommates and he's one of our deacons. He can throw the Frisbee. I cannot. <laughs> but anyway, I'm giving it a shot. So I was out. I decided to get outside and to go behind the church parking lot in, the, in the, that prop, piece of property that we have. And I was just throwing the disc. Needed to get outside. Needed to just to get some fresh air, clear my head. But also, just there was a moment to just talk with God. And I gotta be honest with you, this whole season, I know, I'm sure it's been talked about a lot, but this is hard. This is challenging. I am not an introvert. <laughs> I am an extrovert. I thrive with being with people. What part of my job that I love is being a youth director, is seeing my students. Not only is spending time with them, but seeing them, I just, that's, it makes me come alive because those are my people. But anyway. I needed to get outside. I was just talking with God and just like, God, this is hard. This is challenging. Like, I am just struggling with this whole stay-at-home order. I'm struggling with not being able to see people on a consistent basis. One of the things we've been going through in youth group is we started a Jeremiah series. Now, Jeremiah is one of the books in the Old Testament. And if you read his story, you cannot help but admire him. You think of being a messenger of God and 90% of your audience doesn't listen or care. But yet he was still faithful. Now human nature, if we tell the people the same information over and over and they're like, whatever, who cares? It, eventually you're like, all right, you don't want to listen? That's your business, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go about my life here. But Jeremiah was faithful. He was faithful. He was called when he was 17 years old. God used him as a prophet to Israel and to the world. In Jeremiah chapter 20, Jeremiah has a little breaking moment. He's thrown into prison or to, into the stocks, it says, for a night. And he's thrown into prison by a priest. Now, priests are the people that are supposed to minister to the Lord. And so you can tell you how corrupt Israel was at the time where Jeremiah is preaching God's word and a priest throws him into jail for it. Tell you how messed up it was at that time. And when Jeremiah gets out of jail, he has this venting session with God. He says, God, why did you pick me? God, why did you choose me? God, why did you call me? All they do is make fun of me. I've been obedient. I've been faithful. And all they do is just make fun of me and mock me. God, I can't keep doing this. How can I keep on going on? I think there's a lot of us right now. I think that's a lot of us. We are like, 
I can't go another step. If I hear an extent, if I hear one more, if somebody says social distancing, COVID-19, I'm going to throw something. I'm going to punch somebody. Don't punch anybody, please. But we're, so for a lot of us, we're at a breaking point. We're at a like, oh my gosh, I can't. This, how long, how much longer, how much longer? And I get it. I think a lot of us are in that place. But here's something I've been trying to tell the kids is don't give up. And don't focus on what you can't do, focus on what you can do. Even when Jeremiah wanted to quit, Jeremiah kept going. Jeremiah remained faithful. And kind of going back to my story where I was out in the church field, just throwing the Frisbee, talking to God, just like just venting my frustration with everything that's happening. Romans 5 came to mind. Romans 5, verse 3 says this, And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. I don't believe God created or caused this virus, but God's given us opportunity to grow in this season. And God is shaping you, God is shaping me and molding us into his image. To be a follower of Jesus isn't just to make disciples, which it very much is. It's also being made and conformed to the image of his likeness, Jesus. And so when things are hard, it can be tough. And sometimes those moments we want to quit. We want to just like, oh, I don't want to keep on going. But I felt like God was trying to remind me is that he's shaping me. He's molding me. He's producing perseverance. Perseverance produces character. These moments are hard, yes. But God is, it won't, we won't know right now the fruit in this season. But in time, maybe five years, 10 years, we gain perspective. And also we see, we see, wow, God, you were shaping me. You were molding me. You were helping me to grow maybe in patience and thankfulness. You fill in the blank. So just like Jeremiah, where he's like, Ugh, I can't keep going on. It says, in Jeremiah 20, 11, Jeremiah says, but the Lord is with me. The Lord is with you. So even when you want to quit, even, wanna, even when you want to give up, God is still with you. God hasn't left you. It says he will never leave us or forsake us. So God's still with you. God is still for you and not against you. Amen? Amen to that. So I hope that encourages you. Don't quit. Don't give up. Keep pressing on. God is shaping you and molding you. And these are look at these moments as opportunities to grow to grow maybe in patience, thankfulness. He's producing character, perseverance. And, and the end goal is he's shaping you and molding you into his image. So let me pray. Jesus, I thank you that you are with us in every season of life, in the good seasons, in the bad seasons, in the hard seasons. And I pray for everybody listening. God, I pray, Lord, that you would encourage them. Holy Spirit, I ask you that you would fill them up. Thank you, Lord, that you have never left us and that you won't forsake us. And that's the same thing for me and for them. And Lord, we pray. We pray for an end to this virus. But while we wait for that end, God, we pray, Lord, you would, you, you would give us opportunities to grow. Thank you, Lord, that you're producing character in us, producing perseverance, and that you, we have a hope that does not disappoint. So God, I thank you that you're good and you're faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for tuning in today. Hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. God bless.